ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. Tag team action in full effect, guys, and these superstars are about to show all you folks what it's all about. The King of Kings, Triple H, is looking as imposing tonight than at any point during his dominant 20-year reign. You know, normally I'd accuse you of kissing up to the boss, Byron, but that assessment's actually pretty spot on. Well, thanks. We may have discovered his favorite move. And a great shot by Kane. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. A sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. We see Triple H with some reason for concern. You never want to count a competitor out, Damn. but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. How impressive was that? Just sending your foe crashing to the canvas. History has shown that the fire to annihilate is always burning inside Kane. What we don't know is when the demon will appear. I've personally been attacked by Kane, so I speak from experience when I say the monster doesn't discriminate. The feeling of fear is very real when you see Kane walking towards you. It's a horror no one should have. Kane wants to put this Kane up top. Man, that's a scary sight. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. All that's left now is for Kane to finish this. Choke slam straight to hell. That should do it. Pins and the big boot connects. Nice. The Undertaker makes the tag. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. History. Triple H was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Killer Kowalski and made his debut. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh boy, he is rolling. The knife edge chop. Oh, and it's a reversal. No, Undertaker. Massive choke slam. Oh, it's over. What a slam, Michael. 
Triple H knows about making history. This could be it. Taker setting it up. Stone pile driver. That almost came out of nowhere. Dropped by a clothesline. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. That kick connects. Going for the double play with this move. No lack of force there. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. The Undertaker shows early. Not enough to end this one. Too early for that. Ooh, that hurt. A sharp one right to the cheekbone. The Undertaker. Choke slam. That has got to be it. But now, can Undertaker capitalize? Here we go. The Undertaker is setting it up. Most of the truly great tags. Undertaker's looking to end it. Tombstone pile driver. Game, set, match. This one is over. That is exactly what The Undertaker needed. Boys, are the double drop the kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, The Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about this, remember Texas Outlaw, HP the sharpshooter cinched in. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, what a slam. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Look out. He's almost the... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. This is going to be big one way or another. When I was Triple H here, I can't help but think how he's changed the face of the WWE over the years, including when he was the driving... Kane wants to put this away. Oh, what a terrific reversal by Triple H. He's got him in a tough spot. Michael started discussing Evolution in 2002 and the force they became. They represented the past with Flair, the present with Triple H, and the future with Randy Orton and Batista. You might not have liked them, but you had to respect them. <laughs> not like Evolution. I loved them in Evolution because they took joy in angering just about everyone else. At one point in 2003, they held every men's championship on Raw. A true this testimony. When this guy's on, look, Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. This one is over. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realize that they... He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. He's playing with him now. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Giants, immortals, the undead warriors, legendary champions, Olympic heroes, they've all fallen to the pedigree from the King of Kings, Triple H. He's not going to like this. Kane wants to put this up. Diving clothesline by Kane. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Kane. Moonstone pile driver. Nailed it. This one's over, guys. Here's the cover. 
for the win. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out. The same force and the same level of destruction as The Undertaker. And you're looking at him. The devil's favorite demon, Kane. Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. Triple H setting it up. Pedigree. It should be. There's a pin now. And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. Gonna take a whole lot more. Oh my, Shawn Michaels is in position. Sweet chin music. Boom. Wow. And it goes for the pin. One, two, digging deep for a kick out. He may be the dead man, but Taker ain't laying down for anybody. Look at Shawn Michaels getting ready here, people. Signature slam. The Undertaker looking to bury another victim. Dog slam! You don't see the Heartbreak Kid manhandled like this very often. That is a huge opening for The Undertaker. But what will we do with it? A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Eight a pin attempt. One. Set it up. Looking to take out the neck for that one. Flat line. Oh, man, face first. Penny predicament. Well, that was a close call. And I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. And it's Michael showing some agility. Takes him down with brute force there. So we are back to this form of attack. The Undertaker looking to bury another victim. You don't see the Heartbreak Kid manhandled like this very often. The Undertaker. Moonstone. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. And the cover for the win. This is it. Three. What a tag team display. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.